We're live now. Una la we pledge with love and loyalty to we sweet, sweet mama and Lord. Now we all put come together as we are on. For tomorrow, now we go mix and load. And it's how where you they? It no matter. It's how where you be? It no matter. Anything you they do? It no matter. Oh yeah. It no matter. Now we put in a stronger one. It's a rebellion. Like a big country. We have reason not a shame. TTP TV. Talking point platform. Then they give you information about salute. TTP TV. Talking point platform. For news every day now we can't salute. For education, TV. Entertainment, TV. Political affairs. TTP TV. Exalt the realm of the free Great is the love we have for thee Family united, ever we stand Singing thy praise, O native land Now we put in Aftanga one Inside Sierra Leone Like a big country tree We breeze not a shit TTP TV Talking points platform Then they give you information about Salud TTP TV Talking point platform For news every day now we can't see Salud For education, TV, entertainment, political affairs, TTP TV Yes sir, Dr. Dr. Ma- Dr. Ah bon, c'est mis dans le pic. Ah, 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 c'est mis dans le pic. All right. We should work. All right. We we will can start the uh, the live broadcast now. To uh, we one moment. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, Alpha, you your door completely off. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Okay. So we we they start from we they start anytime from now. We can't start anytime from now. Uh, family, now welcome back to the program. This is the program where we tie to Ed Connor. Ed Connor, our program where we design specifically for talk about well body business in the country. As we all know, well body is gentle. And today, why is so special? Now, the first thing is so they come live on Facebook, the first broadcast, and you don't get to be the last one, you get to be continuous. Now, for every talk, this talk better, better one. I invite again, as usual, Dr. Uh, Alpha Jagon Kuruma as a co-host. Doc, say hello to the people there. Uh, All right. Now, before we introduce we guest there, my name is Mohamed Kago. I'm the CEO and founder of the Talking Point Platform uh, TV. And, um, we will read a shocking statistics as why this program is very, very important. Now, Salon, now, the own, now one of the only countries that the world we get the highest, one of the highest maternal mortality rate in the world. The woman in the diapers mark now country. Secondly, as long as 100,000 people, we get only 
doctors there per 100,000. This is according to the government statistics. And Salon are the only country where per whole when we are the when it check now West Africa, the first university at the Sub-Saharan Africa was founded in Sierra Leone, and we get only one medical school. And again, out of the 15% recommendation where WHO recommend to a country that around the world, Salon they spend less than that. Precisely, they spend only 11%. And we all know, say, uh, well, body business, not a team where we for gamble. So all of these make sure, and all of their issues, they are forced with for at least bring down some of them program here for highlight and present them to authorities and stakeholders, uh, make them ponder and make sure, say, at least then do more than buckle up. Now, we go start from uh, the first person we're going to use. But I just want to let we listen as they understand and feel very blessed today. We get a big, big allergy than a studio there. And these are guys away now, very busy people. Then. You know, for the fact that they left them busy schedule, that don't show say yes, indeed, then get more time than their heart, not only say alone and then. So we, we want for use this opportunity for tell them for plenty, plenty, thank you. Now, uh, the first person we are going to do is, let me right, let me left answer, we are Brian. Uh, Brian, neither the uh, pharmacist in charge, na PCMH. And again, neither in charge of the logistics, management, and all the drugs related um, um, business, na PCMH. Brian, please say hello to Fambule. Fambule, then, I do. All right. Viewers and listeners, on a kushe. Very good. Now, I will pass on the mic to me co-host for me to introduce the two other big, big allergies there. Doc, go ahead. Uh, welcome, brother. Um, we also get um, Dr. Suleiman Conte, we a medical officer in PCMH, Cottage Hospital for Beirut. Dr. Suleiman, go to the family. We also get um, Mamadou ja and, and Balde doctor. We um, they work in the isolation unit in um, Connaught Hospital. Doctor Balde, you can say hi to Fambule. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. All right. Now the first question they go to Doctor uh, Balde, Doc. Uh, you they work with COVID patient, and we also understand say you are the uh, the president of the junior doctors in uh, Connaught Hospital. Uh, the first thing for us to want to help Pambula with what are the current uh, cases, the statistics of um, the uh, COVID patients that we don't get today. Um, so once more, we all are do. Um, me attached to Na Connaught Hospital, but um, at the same time, president of the junior doctors Na Salon. Um, we understand how Connaught they operate. Connaught na the, the the main referral tertiary hospital na the entire country. So anything we we know to belly woman or picking business, anything we know about surgery or any other sick Na Connaught and they go with them. And most of the cases that we can can Connaught na serious serious cases. Eh? Um, na people that wait on the sick for long, or even if na recent sick, na sick way in one of them, but smack make them can come out. So we don't see a huge number of people that really come in. Um, if we follow the trend of the daily updates with ministry and the AOC they put out, um, if I'm very right, we get up to 400 or more cases them as of today, um, of which um, we don't get a mortality of around 32 people that we don't die. And um, we also don't get survivors as in recoveries. And um, we get some active cases and within our treatment center. Um, so the role of Connaught in all this is that uh, most of the positive cases they would on register or the deaths they would on see, they either pass through Connaught or they were at one point or, or the other they be in a Connaught hospital before they go to treatment center. So generally, that, 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 that's how we stand with, with the COVID. We don't get a rise as of today. I think we get 43 cases, new cases. We don't have to the total. So we did around 400 cases. And we get three additional deaths. 
we from the 29 when we get here study, we don't go up to uh, two days. Um, generally, I think that that's where we stand. All right, thank you very much, uh, Doc. Um, another question we, we, what would we present to you? Uh, the Ebola experience, as we know, uh, how it ravaged the country and we be threatened very hard. Are there any lessons there? What will be learned with the app we right now for fetch the COVID-19? Well, um, I think I think for every situation there are some things where you learn where you pick from it. And then it depends on how you, you plan for apply which you don't learn, you know. Um we all only two situations they will learn something, but at the same time we fail for implement all of them. So yes, the Ebola give you an advantage at the start because um It'd be easy for communicate with people them say there is a sick going around in the wall and it will likely come alone. So people were already vigilant and aware say yes, sick day when they go around. We make them easy at that time for, for make people then easily go back to washing their hands like where they do the Ebola, you know, at least try to maintain social distancing. You see some of the measures that we government put in place, they be easily be accept acceptable by the population. We didn't say for reduce the number of passengers and the kekes and taxis, etc. People easily accept them. That was all because of the effect of Ebola. But um, as time goes on, when we begin for register case, we understand that the, the, the importance of very meaningful lessons where we supposed for don't learn from the Ebola and implement when we begin to see cases. There are I would say, some lapses today in that aspect, you know. So I think that's why we begin for registered cases um, in a disorganized manner, in a sense, they're not be they follow the epidemiological trend. So case one and case two, not be get any call, con connection or link, absolutely. We, we, we raise a lot of questions for know whether if then two cases, then there was actually the first cases, in fact, you know, because an epidemiological link, you want to say, the first one gets them, not the second. Well, the first one gets them from outside, but then the second one, we don't get them to the first. So I think we learn from Ebola, but uh, not all the lessons we, 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 we learn, um, we take into consideration or are properly implemented. Okay, thank you very much, Doc. Um, we come to uh, the... We pharmacist in charge, um, Brian, as you did in charge. I know say right now it's a very trying time, it's very challenging. And as the man in charge, what are the challenges in terms of logistics, uh, drugs related to the way uh, you face now your small corner? Um, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, listeners and viewers, thank you for joining us. And really, the impact of COVID-19 is huge. We're not expecting this to overwhelm in such a fast rate. And this is because of the R0 of the infection. That is how fast it can infect the population at risk. Now, with regards to where I work at the PCMH hospital and as the logistics and drug head, we are faced with some challenges. In as much as government is doing so much to make sure the basic, the most important material, such as the IPCs, the personal protective equipment are available, but at the same time, they are not enough. PPE such as the mask, PPE such as the face shields, the goggles, gloves, the N95 to be specific. These are all materials that are not manufactured in country, these are materials that are imported. So we rely more on the outside world. Now this is the difference between Ebola and COVID. COVID, we are all challenged here. Donors that we depend on are now also focusing in country. So at this time, Sierra Leone is on its own and we have to face our challenges by ourselves. So. There is so much strength, there is so much pressure on our health system, particularly logistics pillar, to supply every health workers and even patients this basic protective equipment. So by and large, 
face mask is the order of the day, hand sanitizers, liquid soap, just to implement the IPC measures. We are really faced with these challenges, and um, but we are trying our best to see how we can monitor the use of this equipment and then try to improvise before we are overwhelmed with the disease. Because the fear is not about the infection. The fear is when the disease will overwhelm the health system. We see how Ebola tests the resilience of our hospitals, wherein government declare that they need help from outsiders. At this time, we can't receive such help because they themselves are fighting the same fight outside there. So it's really huge. As today, as my colleague just said, 43 new confirmed cases, which has added to the cumulative case of 505. Now, if we are looking at how these figures are progressing, I'm afraid within the next two weeks, two to three weeks, we will be overwhelmed because the bed, constant bed capacity, which is slightly over 400 nationwide, and at the moment, we have more than 50% already occupied. And we have so much in quarantine, over 2,000 in quarantine. With over 250 lab tests conducted, you can predict how many confirmed cases you can get from those. And line listing them, we have to provide for those population. We have to provide the PPEs, we have to provide the drugs to manage the symptoms. Because COVID, we don't have treatment. We are only managing the symptoms. These are challenges. We are dependent on these outside countries to help us with the drugs and logistics. That is a challenge we have. We need to find a way that we can manufacture these basic ones, drugs like vitamin Cs, the PPs, the face mask, not just any type of face mask, but face mask that is um, worth um, for the health use that has gone to quality assurance, which is fit to prevent from the COVID-19. And gloves, of course, also, we also need to manufacture in town. If not, I'm sorry, I'm afraid, we'll lose the fight. Okay, Doc, we hope and pray that you know, reach to that level day. And uh, we hope <coughs> the authorities, they will listen, we, at least and for pay attention to the man in, in charge, like um, within um, Brian just don't I like I like to so very very important. Now we come to Dr. Suleiman. Uh, welcome to the program. Um, statistics, according to government statistics, we're in a short in statistics. We say 1.8 doctors per 100,000 patients at the country, and this is really alarming. So, what do you feel say government for do at least for fast track at least for? Now we come very close at least for. I don't know, it really is shocking. What do you face the government for do with this kind of number? When the government itself uh, release these figures? Yeah, good day once more, listeners and viewers. Um, this is not a big challenge for me, alone. We all know the country of NF, or say Salon, we did at the Human Development Index, and Salon, like a different country. This change, they don't see where they are they are. This not for the first time is. But we think say government also gets a role for play for encourage people them. This they start from the kindergarten level. You know, for be a medical doctor, there are something where kind of already they in the mind. Since you start primary school up to secondary school, you don't even get Oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. So the thing really, really streamlined. Now, a fine line, person don't make up your mind. From school days, make up your mind, want to do this. Now, government need for come inside by how? By supporting the sciences, right? Governments get for try for support the sciences, them. Now, the different schools, them, the secondary schools, them. So people then will get interested into science. And by soon, we'll get it for become medical doctor, for become pharmacist, where they can for can help with. And let we come up at the number who side of which we put we right now. We're really, really bad. We are really, 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 really overwhelmed at the hospitals then. Like you rightly say, don't really know for skits all master alone. That's not good. Most time you can see when they get support from outside country. But this um, this COVID um, all man get for battle. With the sick, now you don't play, see young people. Because the sick, they all side. 
So you know, go expect other country for send the medical personnel for come work in a salon where them back the fetch with the sick, right? We see how it happen in Europe. We now first class people in the day, first world, everything they day in abundance, but still they're not able to cope with this COVID. So for we in a salon, very, 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 very difficult. Like me working in the maternity unit, it's very, very difficult. The main Sasha hospital. <laughs> When it comes to maternity business and salon, na PCMH. And we know my brother don't write this talk for the challenges to face a PCMH. The challenge they, yes, the hospital they try, the government they try in the only two ways, but more needed for be done at this particular time. This time we need to get equipment in. My brother don't tell you rightly, the personal protective equipment then, when are the PPs then, they are not enough. We're really short of PPs and we they receive patients from all sides of the country. PCMH from everywhere in the country. And as you call, we they get patients there with the commode, we they come meet we. And when they come meet we, we not the last station. We know they refer again. We they try for amend the situation. As long as na belay related problem, this person can we will not get for refer even on site. We for try for amend them. But yeah, the people them day, skills them day, what we don't learn. But if the equipment they're not available then. We think say now wasted effort. So the government can for really try that side for make equipment them and materials and go be readily available at the hospitals them. So we go able to challenge ourselves for do the work and do the work proper. Like I rightly say, governments get for try for see how best they will increase the sponsorship in the science students them. So the science students then will be encouraged enough for let them see the medical area as a career where they go take to Magabambay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, at least uh, this is shocking to some extent, but uh, we go, yes, uh, we go transfer the mic to uh, we uh, co host for making uh, continue the program by asking questions, very important questions in, uh, in regarding this. Yes, Doc, back to you. Yeah, th thank you so much, um, um, Super. Um, Moving away a little bit from from um, COVID, we we all know don't average the entire world, and now they pose a, a lot of threat to salon. Um, we know in uh, many developed countries, them uh, let's take Ukraine as an example. Almost in all of the cities, them they don't divide the cities them into say a district or a or county, for example. Just until we get low, see how we get constituencies them. Um, electoral constituencies, then you understand, or oh, we get lonely, say more tongue, and all these things. Um, you know, the non divide them city them in their way, and at the same way, the 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 target them polyclinics and them hospital facilities. Them mm -hmm. so I know say salon we did down at the development uh, index, but is it time we start for think big? For think for emulate them kind of tier, like say, let we say for we deal with peripheral health um, centers, with community health mm -hmm. centers, mm -hmm. them. We we begin target, we use data from um national civil registration authority. Say we use um data from statistics Sierra Leone, even from NEC into constituencies we target we certain geographic location, almost people in day. Now so we go the we go the able install new health facilities they're moving forward gradually because um this one the the help um for let we detect any disease we we, we prevalent now a particular say area for example say take lomli or take ckc for example and they prevent overcrowding i know say salo we lack the system we lack hospital but we get for think big so i just want bringing me me me, me brothers them the doc them we to na think about this idea because on a day they face the overcrowding every day and lack of um, equipment, all the things and they I wait to think about church um concept moving forward, say government can can do, or maybe probably already existing facilities they will get government can maybe say expand the structures them and maybe bring in uh, more staff. Um I can start with you, Brian. Oh, oh thank you very much. Well, you are partly right in terms of um, the health facilities that we we'll get in this centralizing them to the peripheral regions, to the rural areas. 
Now we also get three areas. We have the primary um, um, set of um, hospital services. We have the secondary and tertiary. And the tertiary, well, I will start with the primary. Majority of the community centers we have these small polyclinics, everything mm -hmm. falls under this primary section. And most of the people in the rural areas make use of these primary healthcare centers, a majority of them. So they don't have access to the tertiary facilities. They'll have to travel far away from their point of stay to get access to medical services that will provide tertiary and secondary assistance or help, medical aid. Now, moving on to the secondary, these are more focused on obstetrics um, um, and um, some surgery, of which we have few. For the tertiary aspect, we have the PCMH, of course, which is the main referral and um, specialist that deals with um, maternal birth, that is uh, pregnant women and under fives. And also we have the Connaught Hospital. They are more focused on the surgery and medicine. That's the main referral for medicine and surgery. And if you look at things, everything is centralized in Sierra Leone. So moving forward, we have to find a way to decentralize activities so that these institutions, we have some of them that are built or are stationed in the rural areas in the provinces so that the population in the rural areas will have access to these facilities. In this western part of um, Sierra Leone, the Freetown Sierra Leone, where everything is centralized, you are seeing convergence of the population to get access to these health facilities. And because of that, you have um, um, insufficient logistics and drugs to cater for the population. And at the same time, there is so much of comorbidities and cross infection due to the rush to access these health facilities. And government in managing these facilities is not going to be easy because all the donors, all the supports are more focused on these ones. And we are forgetting that majority of the people also, well, not necessarily majority, Sierra Leone is not just about Freetown. It also involves the rural areas. So we have to design policies that will encourage health workers to work in the rural areas. And also, the government should have the political will to build hospitals in these rural areas, wherein we will screen more health professionals to man these hospitals and provide the services that the population need. But by and large, the centralization of our health system is a challenge. We have to find a way to decentralize it. Yeah, thank you so much, um, Brian. If um, Dr. Bale, you can chip in a little bit because as um, Brian rightly say, we, 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 we need for decentralized healthcare system because if funny, say let somebody they um, seek Moritong, for example, then you get for go um, find clinic, na, 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 say Abadin, or people away there Abadin not get any clinic, pass and come, come out, for example, Usa you they walk, you know, Cause so much um stress and and what have you. So what are you thinking? What do you think say um the government can do can do also in that regard? Yeah, quite quite in fact, thanks to, to Shirley remind me of the data. So uh, um anyway, quite similar to what you say, but um they are they are we get things that we we um I think we'll be all left behind. With some of them will already be don't, don't make reference to. One is um, the personnel, not to just for just go on and make a constructive building nice and so on and put in a place where you know get the right or adequate people and for them. Um, we don't see many, many facilities that we don't build and they end up for dilapidated along the line because they they not be properly they use them, you know, because of manpower. So I think um, it, it involves a, a, a commitment, a commitment wherein more, more resources, more, more time, more, more dedication towards the health care system. We need for that. And what I mean, it can for be a remodel system. We have for put in a system where they work for, for the society. Mm -hmm. In the sense that, um, especially in the capital, we, we are faced with, which I would say, many slums. 
crowded communities. How we will able to make um, healthcare system accessible to them people and they, if they complain, say cannot not they provide or cannot they get similar constraints of managing critical patients. Um, now, because the community people they only they come to the hospital where they seriously, seriously don't heal. Um, at the same time, they not go one camp can sit down a line for that. But possibly that it that's an angle leader and probably get stroke. But if you get a community center or a community hospital, so I go, they don't check in pressure or regularly they check in pressure. Before they can come out and go don't detect sepsis, they get high blood pressure and they go don't get medicine for that. So it involves a whole remodeling system wherein we get need to forget more medical school, more postgraduate training for, for, for young colleagues. At the same time, we talk of the infrastructure. So not so just about building a hospital at Aberdeen or Moritong or inside Bay. No, you need to forget the right people that we get for run them. And it involves dedication, it involves finance, it involves time. So it involves all the healthcare personnel where you will need. And there needs to be continuous medical education, not so just where people graduate from school, you say they don't need more education. No, need for continuously. So. Yes, donors, we need donors, we need the help of the international community, but um, that will only be reflective on within the government put us in priority, priority and agenda at the particular point in time. I think that's where you will uh, um, get that support for, for, for the healthcare system. So if you make healthcare system a priority, you get many uh, um, help we will come in and, and funds will be shifted towards medical school, towards more facilities, towards empowering those who are already in the facilities. And at that way, you're able to disseminate healthcare system into various communities. But as it is now, we, we, we're not able to really solve the problem based on one particular factor, say more doctor or more nurses or more pharmacists or more hospitals. No, it will be a total remodeling of the system which involves the one that we already don't get to get a continuous medical education. Um, as we brother likely say, um, try to introduce more sciences into the secondary schools, but at the same time, when they when it's time for them to enter college, there is not just one college we get limited capacity. You know, if you get multiple college in various regions, then I think people will easily access the medical system rather than saying all man for come to come as not fit on. There are lots lots of challenges, and and I think the first step and. The bulk of it has to come from, from government effort towards the healthcare system, and it can for be a remodeled one. <laughs> oh, yes, um, Dr. Bali, I couldn't agree with you more. You are absolutely spot on, 100% spot on. I mean, uh, nah, nah, this is not the reason we make um, we self go to bring camp program like this intermittently for help advocate in we only to way to to the government to um, um um donors and other things then you know as you rightly say salon now remodel we need not just for bill hospital here and there or bad in and all total overall remodel of the system you don't and you all touch on a lot of points them way we already prepare questions for now but, but we can we could still ask the questions them as we go along because you know say we just get to ask the questions them um one step at a time and uh, in that regard, there I'll go to you, um, Doctor um, Conte, um, and anybody else can can chip in also. Um, after Ebola, we get um, a lot of studies research from NCBI, for example, and other ones. Them we we give a damning report. They um, um, Sierra Leone not get enough lab scientists. Then just like as we not get enough of any kind of healthcare worker. But when you check um, 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 the amount of lab scientists that will get qualified trained lab scientists and the status of we lab them is nothing to, to write home about. And as you know, doctors are not magicians. I mean, um, Dr. Bale, you work um, in an infectious unit. You, you they get a lot of correlation with the, 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 the lab scientists, them, the lab uh, and people them, then get for do tests and give you results and all doctor's work depends so much on this um, um, 
in that regard, and as we don't say, we all don't know, say we need a remodel of the system. But how we get for waiting for do each and every sector of the system, what do we get for do? I don't think then they make with a bring program now for talk, we discuss, share idea, you know, we brainstorm. I they go to you, um, Dr. Conte, what do you go say in this regard, the lack of, of um, um, lab system that the country, how will they affect you, how will they affect your judgment and other things? Yeah, well, uh, I think say, you know rightly say everything. As a doctor, we just depend on the clinical equipment, but also we depend on the lab stations. The lab gets a great for play, man, and space. You know, the brother that can agree with me. We need labs for let we know what's in your waiting. We'll get for put this person on. We need labs let we know if we need for change one of medication. Who we don't already start this person. But like badly rightly say, we need total remodeling of the system. Where in with the pillar. You see, good instance for us at PCMH, the laboratory will they use now all that during the day. Right? All that during. And now, as I talk to you, so all that during is being closed. You know, due to this corona issue. All are doing close right now. So as we talk now, we do no lab na PCMH. You see? So we are managing things blindly. That's the honest fact. It's blind management. We not get labs. How we go able to do simple things then? We need a lab way for work 24 hours. And even the term where they use all the lab, in order to function 24 hours, 4 o'clock, lab blows. No. This is not such a The main referral hospital when you talk about maternity in a salon, all sorts and, and we know the patients again. When it comes to we, they expect say, yes, when I don't reach here, I foresee better, I for well, and I was fine. But this all, we they get problem because of the labs. The lab is a great, great pillar when it comes to management of patients. You rightly like say, we not to people, we not double people, or which man them, we just sit down, you know everything. No, you get for be guided by your labs. The labs get great school where they play. You the change your manage based on laboratory finds where you see from pens. Not just yes, the clinical equipment, physical examination, and all. Yes, good is night the medicine. We know, but the lab get great school where they play. without proper lab that problem. And we don't rightly say. This is not same way for think about this thing. If Corona Day now, we're not able to put one, two, three things there in place, then we can't do No. But when Corona Day, we don't put one, two things in place. When Corona do not before no more we go. Now developments go don't happen. Right? Not saying the, the hospital don't get facility them, we don't they in place. Oh, they think about say we they able to continue for it with normal cases then. Way before that was problem. Right? But now, with the CCA, this lab business is a big problem. Not of just for PCM, which are the work, even Connors and other tertiary hospitals, it's a greater problem. So you need this lab. A very, very, very important thing. Now, even for the corona um, virus, the lab is an essential pillar of this corona thing. Because now lab get for do this. Now lab get for pull results. Now lab get for make them know, say, this place for good quarantine, these people. Eh? Now lab get for make them know, say, okay, then people are they don't free. Let we discharge them. Let we send them go now. Now lab they know, say, the people are in that treatment center, okay, they're doing fine. We've sent for one second um, sample. All of them are negative. Then attempt for discharge. Lab now they decide all length in here. So lab now medicine now very, very, very important pillar where we don't need for play with. We need forget we people eh? and let them know, say, the lab then the functioning well, and we get three people in this laboratory. Not for just open all kind of lab, but we get forget the laboratory science system. We then well together, now they are whole landing, now then job landing with their study boards. But how many they all go up in the pile this kind of thing? Oh, it's high time to so begin a two three medical school. We scat all over the country. So so people encourage. The other allied sciences will laborate in one panel. So they will get well and qualified skinning. We will be able to make the help we as the medical doctor them for the way we will run the hospital them well and the management of the patient them 
will greatly, greatly improve. Thank yes. you so much, yes. so much um, Dr. Um, if I'm to add to what Dr. Suleiman Conte just said, um, before 2020 now, the 2016 report um, shows that we have about over 569 laboratory technicians that are currently in the health workforce. Out of this figure, we have more than 300 of them that are on payroll receiving salaries and 200 and more of them I have a no pin codes and not receiving salaries. Now, you can't provide effective therapy without confirmatory diagnosis. And for you to have a confirmatory diagnosis, what do you need? You need the laboratory to be functional. You need laboratory specialists, laboratory skilled professionals to attend or attended to attend to these um, um, hospital settings, to these um, um, reagents and these samples. Now, in Sierra Leone, presently we are faced with the COVID. We are having just four functional laboratory stations, one at Connaught, one at 34, one at Jui, and the other at Kenema, I think, I believe. Before then, we were only having diploma laboratory scientists. But thank God for the new government, they are really playing a huge role in empowering our health professionals. And as speaking, we have now the degree program going on for these laboratory technicians. And so much has been done in empowering the laboratory technicians, but we don't have the infrastructure again. You will have the professionals there, but we are to place them to apply what they've learned. It's not enough. That is one aspect. What are they to use to perform this laboratory diagnosis, the laboratory agents, laboratory equipment. As speaking, we all know the situation when it comes to equipment, PC, polymer chain reaction equipment, dialysis, mm. whatever you call them, we have to import all of them and we don't have sufficient of this equipment. End of the day, laboratory samples are there to be tested or sent outside the country for result. So now, we are faced with not just health professionals for laboratory technicians. We also have huge challenges when it comes to the reagents and the, 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 the um, healthcare facilities that will perform this laboratory diagnosis. So this is just a pinch of the iceberg that we need to attend to as a nation. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, sorry, um, um, I'll not get really clear. Um, Dr. Balde, anything forward uh, on this one? You, the work um, na, na the um, isolation and, and, and infectious disease unit presently, and anything to add for that? Um, quite similar to, to, to what your colleagues said, don't say. Um, I think we, we, we're in, this, in a world now where in anything you do is based on data. You need to get, get, get data for, for policy decision making. And um, in the medical or in the clinical aspect, one important thing is research. And you're not able to provide a valid or strong data without, without certain parameters. And one of them we key na, na the laboratory aspect. Um, you not just want to get labs, but you want to get uh, um, quality reporting, okay? And when we say lab, we're not just to talk about uh, reports in the go checking blood or checking urine, no. It involves even to the aspect of a postmortem. Uh, any other thing relating wherein a doctor not will just look or a clinician not will just look and say it is this, you know the second confirmatory report, we will, we will show say this not actual something will happen and then um, you will get a confirmatory in that sense. So anything confirmatory where you need um, through, uh, um, through another means, maybe using the agent or, or, or testing a sample, or even in the case of certain diagnosis, patient with, with lump, you want to tell whether the person gets a, a cancerous lump or a non-cancerous lump. You need things like that. But I think the, more, the, main, the main point here is, is um, where do we stand presently with the laboratory? It's not, not so just uh, um, saying um, 
with personnel or the agent or, or where do we stand, which data we can provide to show that we get, because frankly, we get many, many private laboratory facilities Then The challenge is the ones that we will not get in the hospitals. And uh, these private ones, they don't mind can take your sample and send it anywhere, but you get, still get your result. But then they're quite very, very expensive. So uh, uh, we can still get some lab done if you can get the money, but then um, how accessible is that? I think that's where the, the, the issue of data comes in. What thing we did do as a country, um, which imaging we able to do, we all that you can include them as part of an investigation. So in medicine, um, me not just want limit the conversation to lab, I want limit them to investigations that we did do for, 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 for get a patient in diagnosis, uh, certain. So it involves a lot. If you take no more just the lab pillar, and leave the other parts of it where we involve in investigation, then um, I don't think so. We go, we go bring a total change uh, um, towards the patient care, you know, because certain things in the way our agents you need for doing, but then certain things in the way they way are away from that. So the first aspect is getting the adequate data we will need in terms of manpower, in terms of waiting exactly we go able to do in this country, and then which ones that we go able to access from outside and depending on the financial constraints, and look at the whole investigative method as one, not so just what you're able to do in a laboratory or what you're able to do in a X-ray department or any imaging, you know, just look at a total investigative policy for the healthcare system. Anything we will help the doctor for our medical diagnosis. And, and that is not just limited to lab work we, 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 we will do. So I'll go back to the same thing. In research is important and research can only be based on quality data, data for policy decision making. And, and if we not get those data, we know they will tell specifically where the main problem is. Um, we get very senior people that we can able to train 20, 50 people there in a very short period of time and we can get back to normal. But if we not put out these data and know what is the problem and make decision, informed decision, based on data, then we will keep on guessing where the main problem is. And Nadando we don't do for the past years, guessing and thinking that because hospital not there and we build hospital, or thinking that because lab not there, we bring two, three labs, or not because the agents not there, but then the problem still continue for recycle. So back to remodeling of the health system. Oh, thank you so much, um, Dr. Balde, and um, thank you so much for um, church no, um, on the radiological examination aspect and not only lab and uh, I stand to be corrected me no, me personally not even know if we get any cause for like bachelors for um, um, radiological technologies or scientists them like here yeah, Ukraine you get four years course I think even US you get four years course something like that and even diploma courses them two years when people can go and train in um, diagnostic imaging MRI and what have you and if I can just move quickly to um, you, um, Brian, um, you know, a pharmacist, um, a, a public health specialist. And um, I ask this question, knowing fully, say, pharmacy board, they tried and they do their own part. I don't live alone and I don't see their own parts where they do. But yet still, we get a host of pharmacy them. We not get green pharmacy them at all, at all. And me personally don't ask certain people them say, why una just get one pharmacist na this big pharmacy? Or why una not get at all? Na just the way we open them, go fence one pharmacist, they register with the name, come back, na then they sell medicine like that. Some they tell you say because there are not available pharmacists to do the job. Then they're not there, we don't get them. So again, we think pharmacy board can do more for stop them people here where they sell uh, medicine, where somebody know that they will get the know-how. People them also, they sell uh, medicine at treat and all. And from a, a public health perspective, what do, you, what do you think, say, pharmacy board can do more? Well, this all fall under the supply and demand of health economics. We are in the people that we need the services, the bottle pass waiting available. Now, it is true that we have challenges with the number of pharmacists available to work in the pharmacies. 
this is as a result of so many factors. One, we only have one medical school that trained these pharmacy students, both pharmacy, pharmacists and pharmacy technician. That is one of the challenges we are facing. Secondly, the decentralization or decentralization of the health system is another issue wherein every medical staff with besides to the pharmacies would like to work within the city wherein everything is available. So sending them to the rural areas to work in other pharmacies there is challenging. They themselves are not that willing to go there and work. Now, because of these challenges, yes, there are some pharmacies mm -hmm. that don't have pharmacists working in them because of they are not enough. The college is not producing enough pharmacists, maybe slightly over 30, 40 for every graduate in here. So now we are faced with vacancies in the pharmacies. And eventually this pharmacy will be manned by people without the requisite education to attend to the communities. But by and large, Pharmacy Board is doing a very good job in regulating the pharmacies and the pharmacies, making sure that they are available in the pharmacies. So this brings the issues of drug peddling, wherein you have people without the legal document and legal ability to sell drugs outside of the pharmacies or health institutions. And so exposing the population to drug interaction, drug problems, drug related problems. We have also lack of the political will. The pharmacy board with regards to the um, narcotic department, they are responsible for enforcing the law, right? According to the 2001 Drug Act, so that these peddlers would stay off the community and thereby the lives of the citizens will be saved. Yes, the pharmacist is short in numbers. That is how much more we can do to help salvage the situation. We need to provide, we need to train more of the pharmacy professionals and also they need to change the policy wherein one pharmacist can sign to more than one pharmacy if possible, but it needs to be within mm -hmm. so that they will not violate any health um, 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 uh, rule or law will be well um, um, attended to. Now, for, for pharmacists in Freetown, they're not allowed to sign in the rural areas. So now there is gap for absence of pharmacists within the rural areas attending to customers. Then they have the sales agents and proprietors attending to the public, which is quite um, um, discouraging. And we have so many drug abuse and drug misuse because they don't have the education. So now moving forward, government needs to train more of these professionals. We need people to come on board to help and institute or build more medical schools wherein we train more of these professionals. Secondly, we have to change the policy wherein we will have the pharmacist to attend to at least more than at least two so that to cut down the demand and supply pressure. Because at the moment, there are pharmacies that are not attached to pharmacists. You can't open a pharmacy without a licensed pharmacist. But if there are more pharmacies opening and you have less pharmacists to sign for them, what do you expect? What do you expect? So now pharmacy board is also under the regime of um, Dr. Peter Kome, is working very hard to get the pharmacies to go into contact with these proprietors so that they will spend time at the pharmacies and they will also deliver to the public. Thank you so much, um, Brian. Um, over to you, Mohamed, for the next set of questions. Okay, well, I think um, we don't learn boku, boku, boku from the professionals then. Eh? And we hope say authorities then we they charge, they listen because this is very, very important. Uh, we talk about uh Motaman, yeah, we talk about health. We not get anything we will compromise when it's uh, well body that now you can force. When you talk about the economy, the first thing for us we remember about now well body, now when we're forcing get well body, now they go fenting for it, now they go work. 
So uh, I think governments will pay more attention to waiting like uh, the professionals in the say. So at the end of the day, at least we will get to serve a better uh, nation. All right. Now, you, um, Dr. Um, Solama, you talked some very important things you mentioned in terms of uh, personnel. But again, there is a challenge of uh, what we can face uh, where um, doctors, professionals, nurses, where they can and try to relocate or assign like different places and like the rural places and town villages and where like, we will save lives. But unfortunately, even the basic infrastructure like, are available there. And some of them they get family. They need for relocate with them, begin there with their wife there, or in some cases uh, you know, school not they what time they it's so challenging. How what's it this is a general question to Una all. What do you actually see, like, uh, you know, in terms of moral as well as right? Because I know how difficult it is. Now, somebody as a doctor, in passion for save lives, but at least it gets a challenge for yourself. So, how can like, you put yourself in short, a very tight condition like this? Particularly when they send you for go save lives in a place where in a remote place completely. What not it, how can like, you balance this? I know say it's difficult. Yes, um, uh, a very, very difficult situation. And uh, we all know it's our friend we say. But like you rightly say, the efforts they did, um, we can willing for go one of them provinces there, the rural or remote places there, for go save life. Because mind you, them people they are all go save. Now, Sierra Leone and them. Now, we own people. Now, we papa them. Now, we mama them. We sisters. We colleagues them. You know? We all now one family because we all are salon people. Them. So we can gladly forgo it. But like you rightly say, we get big challenge over the face. More than the remote parts them of the country. You know, this person is going under, and a family person too. You get family, you get your wife, you get your kids, children, so on and so forth. You get your people that will depend on you. So you get for going on side and they wait in at the thing where oh, they go meet. Oh, most time, you know, they meet good things there. Yes, that's true. And we they see most of the time the demo and the medical superintendent and other places that they, they try, they do their own part for let you go they let you go feel at home. At least you don't go be like how you didn't have to on with everything they um yonder, it will be difficult a bit. But we they try, we won't go there. And room day for more improvements, room day, the COVID can do more. You know, the means with the government they can come together for let them try for how life be. Good for people and more than the who are for good serve. We get so many calls, or any side we call, we hospital day, offline, we get people and day, we get dogs and day, we get fast and day. Doing more than the first time, now then they go for way and means, or then families, how they belong, then in the family. And some people then, they always do have really left from Mudong, then go yonder, because no safe food and food and day. Then they spend more. But say we want the equable man more than them, we can try. It's not easy. More so the few colleagues then. This is for all the healthcare workers, then. not just medical doctor or pharmacists, the nurses, even down to the porters, then clean them. We all they undergo this challenge at these rural places there. So I think say the government for try for how they will see, for let them do more for this, and then it's try for encourage people then. Many people in that know you know, doctors or pharmacists, they want to walk upline. But you know, the encouragement, now you know they too much. You know, we all know what's going to be happen at the country. And recently, we see some improvement, they come up small, small. But we want to they fast track, let them speed up on those improvements. And they, so people can go gladly, willingly, for let them go upline, let them go walk. We they see right now, but who young, young doctors then? And then they upline, then they walk, they didn't do the best. Because we all know when you go upline, you get this thing where they say, as long as you're a doctor, you're a doctor for all things. You know what they say, free tongue, me the PCMH, okay, oh, I'm more obstetric and guy things than me they deal with. If I want to internal medicine, I will send to Bale. If I want this, so I will send on Connors. No, not to so. When you do upline, they expect for for first game, right? Anybody will know when that's where you they go. You know one who is sick you get, you know one who for so. This man, you hear this, no, not like that. So all this, they come back to waiting, the government and the ministry. Let them try for put things in place. We go encourage with young people, them for going and 
that they go help the people live. And all this day around, with him follow the model with healthcare system. Recently, we get a symposium when and then I be the team. When Dr. Bale be the part of, you know, when I be the team, follow the model with healthcare system. So if we model the healthcare system overall, then the problem here, yeah, then go decrease. And people then go willing for go there at the province with them family them and do the work which collapse because they no say when they go there at least the basic thing then they did they, you know go we'll go begin strain again for firm place for go lodge who say they sleep you know we'll go begin think for we'll say hey what's another year you know we'll go begin think for we'll say hey go a good day i'm not going to eat self two times a day no none day none day for be the past now but try by all means the ministry as well as government for come together, let them work with we the young ones. Then let we see how best we can able to put things in place. We go encourage young people. Them by means all the healthcare workers. They're not just doctors or pharmacists. The nurses and everybody. What they can post there. so we get a hot life. Not as those who are young, but then go near them small. Um, I don't know if I can add small to it in Doctor Sulesi. Sure. Um, I think what you say quite good um but at the same time i think that na, na just an acute response like for 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 cushion the within the happen say for for post somebody you give them housing you give them allowance and then are just an acute thing in order for in order for last in order for solve the the, the, the problem because at the, at the at the end of the day you get for eventually return back to so you come or you call hometown or you province or whatever so i think um, in a long time we get for move away from these postings how we will move away from that um, i think one of the principal challenge you'll get is the fact that um the medical school they free term so the majority of people that will get access to them are free term people them and then Maybe 60, 70 percent of the population are within freedom. So when they're done, when they graduate, you get for get a whole scenario for convincing them for go to the provinces. Um, apparently, from my own background, where I get of different healthcare system, then especially in Latin America, is um, the accessibility of health or schools, medical schools. So you go to Cuba, for example, every district get a medical school and then they train you for the work now that you community day. So the people are already aware of who you are and when you don't they know say you get for day with them at your community and you serve them there and that's where you develop your life. So you get access to medical school and at the same time you get the access for serve them at the end of it. So the issue of bringing in somebody from afar is very minimal, you know, maybe except in cases where you are being more specialists in terms of training and but these are rare situation because if we say we get medical school in freedom and it's it there for train people and we do within freedom vicinity provide the specialist care and all those things i think freedom will get enough the same applies to any other part in a salon if you go kabbalah and get the medical school people go into secondary schools and then enter the medical school there it can be seen at a branch of a particular university but at the same time, they're able to access someday. And then people, and if you tell the lady who work in their home country, or sorry, their, their, their hometowns, they will find them very easy. Uh, the same challenge is where you take somebody from more born, say they can work in freedom. Not all men go willingly left in family, even if you offer them lots and lots and lots of things. You know? So I think making allowances and accommodation and these are acute things a way for solve or cushion the problem but in the long term we need to forget people um <coughs> excuse me from then same <coughs> from then same areas and day and then they graduate not in place of origin and at the same time able for work there. <coughs> sorry yeah. Um, thank you so much, um, 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 Dr. Balde, for, for that one day. And um, if I can, I can ask um, um, Dr. Suleyu, the gynecologist here. Yeah. Okay, 
Um, Mohamed, you can continue next question. I don't see you around, so I'll jump in for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I think with the kind of uh, with the travel wrap up the program now, and then we be scheduling for an hour, and it just don't jump out of it. So, but at least, at least um, if um, we, we honorable guests and get any um, thing again for art from on top of this, then can add. Otherwise, we will ask the individually for make this the last word, and then we wrap up the program. Yes. Um, so, my own last word they go to everybody, all the Sierraians, them, where they look, we and the one that where they listen. Now we know we to the farm, it's not too, the fed, and we know, so we're not too strong for really to fed this battle. So, with the big people, them, let them adhere to all the messages, them, where they come out from the health people, them, let them stay indoors. Not come out in the house if you not get everything so vital for come out for good do. And if you they come out, make sure say you put on your face mask. You know, let we abide by this hand washing thing. That would be matter. So regularly, you get in right? We tie or fed this because if it's not done, then everything they go be now the process go be with small country, the academic year they well. They don't do the learning, do the exam line, everything. But salon, we know it's not level eight. So what we do? Now we just abide by what the Masabi people and the professionals that they tell we. Now we keep to now one day and now we left this fact. For say people and still they are Corona day, Corona day. Yes, I'm bullet. Corona day, the girl and the salon. No development has this study continue now because of it, because Corona. So you had a with Corona, yes, Corona, the area, and it killed people. Boku Boku, we back the CM now. We didn't have hospital level cell owners. So please, please, me family, let we adhere to the masters. Are we people them waiting and sell we for do? Let we continue for do the social distancing thing, let we continue for maintaining them. The hand washing thing, let we continue with them. Would they use with face masks? Would they come out? Would they go to public places? Then let we continue with them. So now one day go help, let we curtail this virus and we go about with normal business. Then back, I will be there before this. Once more, on a thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Suleiman Conte. We really appreciate your time. And uh, the last word to Brian. Um, over to you, sir. Yes, thank you very much, everybody. Um, my last words will be I know this night trying times for Salon and the world. Now we are faced with a triple effect. We not only get COVID with the suppress we are at the moment with fear, we also get economic suppression and we also have political tension going on. And three of these effects can lead to mental health issues, of which is a leading cause of death now. This is a global trend and it's a global interest. When we have depression, the leading cause followed by anxiety. With the COVID, the results coming out, people are anxious, people are depressed, people are frightened about the outcome. So now my own last word would be towards the people of Sierra Leone and also those in authorities, especially the health ministry, to focus on psychosocial. We are in this design and assign the roles and responsibility of healthcare workers, and also at least assign percentages as to which approach to use, whether the psychosocial or the medical intervention. We all know COVID, there are no known treatments for it at the moment. So we have to actively educate the public sensitize them and also we have to empower them to psychosocial activities to drive away the depression and anxiety that they are faced with. Thank you all. Thank you very much, uh, Brian. Um, really appreciate your time. And uh, we go to uh, uh, Dr. Balde. Uh, Dr. Balde, your last word, sir. 
Uh, I think the, the colleagues are already don't say everything. Um, I think the best shots where we get um, specifically towards COVID, not to more hospital beds, the best thing where we get is for stop community transmission. And how we get for stop landing by abiding to all within the healthcare workers, they don't say. Uh, we go get beds, we go get beds, we go get beds, but we go still full. And the fact that we not get treatment so far for treat the disease, the best option where we get, and where every other nation gets, now for stop transmission. And how do we stop transmission? Now for go by within the healthcare workers and say, and at the same time we encourage authorities them for put well, it might be drastic. That drastic actions may need to be taken in, in when, when times are tough. But um, I think we need for weigh the options and see how best and how fast we can stop community transmission and go back to a normal life rather than uh, thinking it is there or it is not there. So to the people of Stallone, yes, we get COVID. Um, as we all know, it don't affect every other part of the world and Stallone not to an exception. And um, we not get way out of it except we abide to it in the healthcare people and say, and as time that goes on, we, we call on government for putting more measures for stop community transmission way that the only long shots that we we we, we get for 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 beat this sick. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know, um, Doctor Alpha, you get before. Yeah. Um. First of all, I want to say plenty, plenty. Thank you for we bother them. We take this the, the busy time. I know. I know how they're all busy for law okay, we'll dissect, analyze and profile solution. Not to one day solution go come, but gradually we know solution go come. Unfortunately, time don't, don't catch me. We get a lot of more things to discuss. Salon problem beaucoup, healthcare problem beaucoup. We get problem from postgraduate um, education opportunities. We know they for junior doctors them that much. And people like me inclusive when a medical student, young doctors them defeated for go back and we not graduated um, from commerce, drop out with, you know, a lot of things there for discuss. Hopefully we brought them go get for squeeze then time back subsequent. Maybe we'll go do a part two of this program and uh, intermittently also, maybe then go they come up with um topic about diseases them we come on our communities them where they affect the people in the country the platform is here we will make sure say titi pick out and tona and dr balde we want to join the junior doctors association Vina and tpp tv for let we send we condolences to um um the family of dr samuel Sisse. we i see you post, um we say um you don't succumb to covid um as we can say in creo they got um be on good road and make um, God um, courage um, in people yeah. and, 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 and feel the, the, the missing space that uh, um, the family, they ask them. And um, also, lastly, I want to say, um, I want to say plenty thank you to Vicky Imo. Me personally, not Sabi, I know when they talk with him, but um, I've been watching videos them on YouTube for a long time now. I can spend time there, they, they were miss alone, they watch alone things and all that. I end up seeing the video with you, um, Dr. Balde. And they do um, a, a, a great work, um, um, community service. Um, I encourage people them for go on uh, um, Vicky Remo, go on in um, a Facebook page, you go find link for say, donate. And make we all push salon one by one, you know. Government not be able to do anything. We can there, we advocate, we put pressure on government, but may we, we let we say, we get this community and try for bring developments to the country. So. Um, now with that, I uh, go say um, goodbye till we meet again. Tata. Okay, family. Now, so we come to the end of the program. I want for tell her plenty. Of thank you for watching and for share. I see the message. Unfortunately, we're not able to respond to all of some of these messages. Uh, like uh, where Doc say we go make another segment where we go appeal to the professionals. Eh? I know how busy them people are. They forget they eh? not really easy. But because of them get love, the passion there for save lives and for support information, uh, we go like for appeal to them for let at least then spare them time again for join with the people and they ask me, they want to ask questions, but time don't be between her. So we they make special appeal from we now, TTPT, for let at least spare on our time again. 
probably at my own convenience for local at least when I can take questions from uh, the people there. They appeal the go to NASA. Well, super, we'll talk down the private. Okay. We, okay. We can cut, okay. We so, cut the link. Yeah, so, so finally, um, we just appeal to the people again. Uh, Allow listen to the professionals eh, and for support the health workers. Eh. How for support them? Listen and listen the message and abide to waiting and just don't tell me so. So until then, we tap in. My name is Mohamed Kago. On a goodbye until until we meet again. Tata. Yes.